All right, what is going on everybody? So thanks for checking out this video. By the way, I got a new mic today, so hopefully the audio will sound a bit better than what you're used to. Let me know what you think of it. It definitely could use some tweaking until I get it right. So anyway, this is gonna be a quick video. I kind of wanted to make it, well, to test out the audio, <laughs> but also because I just posted an ad on Craigslist and I almost fell victim to a scam, or at least someone tried. And I figured, hey, this is kind of cool. If I'm following, uh, or if someone's attacking me with this, I figured there's other people that may or may not know about it and just wanted to do like a, a quick PSA. So if you've ever used Craigslist before, it's just a, or I guess if you've never used it before, it's just a way to make an ad, buy, sell stuff, that type of thing. Um, so I've got a couch that I wanted to give away. It's just old, raggy. I wanted someone to come pick it up. <laughs> so I posted it for free, just, hey, someone come get this couch. And it wasn't long before someone sent me a text message that looked like this. And they said, hey, I'm interested in your couch, but I want to verify that your post is real. I'm going to send you this Google voice code. And if you're real, then replay the code back to me. And from there, I'll call you and we can, we can, I guess, I don't know, pick up the couch. I don't know what he wanted. But he sent this out and I didn't reply. I just was like, okay, this is a scam. <laughs> and then some time went by, he hit me with a bunch of question marks. So I was just like, dude, do you want the couch? And he came back and was like, yes. And right after he sent that yes text message, I received another message from Google and it was saying that someone was trying to set up a Google Voice account. And it didn't give me a lot of detail and they actually did it in a different language. So I couldn't even read the Google text fully. All I could see was the six digit code and that it came from Google. And so it was, you know, I think a lot of people, when you have a pretext like this, I think that they'd probably be like, yeah, okay, let me grab this code and, and I'll reply back to the person who asked for it and I'll get my couch picked up, right? And obviously that's a problem. <laughs> so let me just explain a little bit about why this is an issue. So Google Voice is a service by Google that allows you to do voice calling or voice text messaging that didn't make any sense. It allows you to do voice calling or text messaging over the internet, basically. And you can actually tie your Google Voice account to an existing phone. And to do that, though, you have to verify that you own the phone number that you're trying to, to tie it to. So that way, if someone tries to call the Google Voice number, it could forward to your real phone and that type of thing. But attackers will use Google Voice's platform to do vishing or to try to perform whatever scams that they want to, or they might even leverage it to do like mass calling, right? Like the, the, the type of scams you get all the time, the robocalls from your phone. But they have to have these Google Voice accounts set up and they want to tie it to people that aren't them. So that way, when they get busted for scamming, they don't get actually busted under their identity. Instead, it's going to be under the identity of the people that fall victim to the first phase of their attack, which is getting Google Voice activated to begin with. So had I replied back with this six-digit code, he would have been able to open up a Google Voice account under my name, essentially, and be able to do whatever he wanted to, any malicious activity he may have wanted to do, and all that could potentially get tied back to me. So I wanted to make this PSA just to keep this type of stuff in mind. If, if you're not actively going out and requesting to join a platform or requesting a verification code, don't just provide one to anyone who's asking you for it, um, which there's other types of attacks that could really just allow people to completely take over your account, right? Like if you've got your phone set up as a recovery method for your email account, someone might be able to do something similar where they go to recover your email, it sends you a verification code to your phone, and if you give that code to these attackers, now they've got control of your email account, right? So those are just things you want to think about and always be weary of, and yeah, this is by far <laughs> not the only uh, pretext or attack that can be leveraged in this way. So if you have know of other attacks or if, if you've seen something or even fall victim to something like this before, let me know. I'm, I'm really intrigued by this stuff. And so I'd love to, to see comments down below that kind of share stories about other methods that you see out in the wild. Anyway, hope this was something informative to you and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks.